comes to help you precious saints jumpstart your day with daily meditations from scriptures. I give honor to the Lord who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The one who is the way maker, the one who is the way, the truth and the life. For he has given me life even to do what I'm doing. And I just want to ascribe praises to you, O Most High. And I thank you for my life in you, Lord, as I speak your word in season and out of season. The lives will be changed, set free, and delivered in your most holy name. And I thank you for this privilege in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The word of the Lord comes to you from Romans 11. Follow along with me as I read if you have your Bibles. The title is Promise of Israel's Restoration. God made you a promise and he's going to hasten over his words to fulfill them, to perform them over your lives. So follow along with me. For I would not, brethren, that he should be ignorant of this mystery, lest he should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away, take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for their father's sakes. For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. For as ye in times past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. Even so have these also now not believed that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy. For God hath reconciled, I'm sorry, for God hath concluded them all in unbelief, that he might have mercy upon all. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past, finding out. For who hath known the mind of the Lord? Or who hath been his counselor? Or who hath first given to him, and it shall be recompensed unto him again? For of him, and through him, and to him are all things. To whom be glory forever. Amen. Restoration has finally come for the people of God. Those who have sown in tears. It's time, the Lord says, to reap in joy. You've planted, you've labored, you've cried. You've sown seeds unto righteousness. You have loved the brethren. You have become one with him, one in thoughts, one in mind. Restoration has finally come. Walk into this new season, for it's time to reap what you have already sowed. 
joy will come forth. Peace will spring forth. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. It's high time. You've labored and you wondered. Is God ever going to come through for me? The answer is yes. The Deliverer has come out of Zion and shall turn away all the ungodliness from your life. For he had made a covenant unto you and he has removed your sins as far as the east is from the west. Now he has poured out his gifts Will you receive them this morning? He has given you mercy. He has poured grace upon you because you believed. And now it's time to receive. Do not go back to being wise in your own conceits because then you're going back to be spiritually blind and that's what happened to Israel the natural Israel but you are engrafted you are the true vine and the fullness of your time has come it's time to come in to all that God has for you that he had set aside all the riches of his glory, it's time to come into that fullness because the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. And so even if you stray, you still have access. But do not walk in the evil forces that are tempting you once again, that are pulling you and drawing you back to dip in sin because they are repercussions but embrace the gifts and the calling that God has given to you so that you may obtain mercy and grace once again and walk in newness this is the word of the Lord this morning so humble yourselves under the hand of the Almighty and he will reward you in due season. It is due season. Think on these things. Blessings be unto you.